everybody, welcome back to Super Kit and Chris's 64. We are at PAX in Seattle. In Seattle. Here for a packed weekend. Do not get run out. Don't get that run would be a bad start to the vlog. Um, we're seeing PAX. Next stop, we need our badges. Yes. We're also here for Nintendo Live, which is happening. We're gonna, we have, we have a legitimate way into that. We do. We did um, not try to crash. No. We're going on Sunday, which yes. is gonna be really fun. But um, while we're at PAX, we're gonna be seeing some games. We're doing a panel that you are terrified of. I'm terrified. I can't wait for that. We're doing a meet and greet with Captain Alex yep. at his booth, hopefully seeing a lot, a ton of people. I'm so, I, I, this is about as excited as I've been for a PAX weekend in a long time. Yeah, and PAX is like, they have expanded. There's new buildings. Yes. There's look at, look at, look at this. Stuff. There's like all these new, oh, look at that Pokemon sign. Yeah, there's new buildings that we haven't seen. Like the downtown Seattle looks completely different. Like, I don't know what happened in the last year since we were they here. They did some stuff here. They yeah. really did. So, like I said, next stop, get the badge, get inside. Do get some stuff. up to something. What it is, I don't know, but let's get going. Huh. All right, just got badges. Yes. Badges are really cool this year. The badges are really cool. They have this, this kind of like VHS aesthetic mm -hmm. that even looks like it's like kind of old. That's yeah. neat. We have the special guest variety Very as speakers. Nice. You almost didn't get yours. They didn't <clears throat> believe you. You had an ID so, that didn't have your name on it. So I have a common problem, which is um, my legal name is actually not Kit. Um, so when I, I, but I register for all these things as kids, cause that's how it's like, well, you're a kid of Kit and Krista. So that's what I go with. And they're like, mm, we actually don't have a, we actually don't have anything that you're matches your ID on there. So that's a, that's a, my problem. Now, I, I legitimized you with me. Great. We are somehow standing this ridiculously large sign Why is of the PAX terms and conditions. So if I ever needed to confirm that I will not bring a folding chair or, or balloons. balloons. I was I was planning on bringing a whole dozen balloons tomorrow, so oh, my, my plans are shot. You can't bring drones either. No. Or remote control toys, apparently. Come on. So, we thought our session tomorrow was going to be in here. Turns out it's not. Yeah, I it's, looked at this handy <clears throat> mini map. Right. I think it's in the convention center. It's in the main convention center. And so, I've increasingly become more nervous. Yeah, does that make you more or less nervous? I don't know. More, more. It, I also right. noticed that it was connected to the main theater, which also makes me incredibly right. nervous. But so, right now we got, we're kind of killing some time right now because we're doing an interview with Nintendo Life in about 20 minutes. Uh, we won't be vlogging that, but you can eventually read see it. See the interview, yes. Read it and see it. So we're going to wander around aimlessly, and we'll Until be back then. after we're done with that. It's called the Summit Building. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's brand new. Like really there's all, like there's like Larian with like Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. um, it's honestly a little inconvenient to be to running back, back and, and forth, forth from all the buildings. Like we did not take that into account when we were building our schedule. And it's like oh now we're like on our late third lap everything. back yeah. to the other and thing we're and, very and, late and perpetually late. Uh, but you just played a very cool game called I, I've already forgotten. It's it, thank you for being. Here. Thank you for being here. Yes. And I don't, so I don't know how to describe this. It's like a, it's kind of like an action adventure, but it's very like absurdist and extremely British. Yes. Uh, you play as a tiny man, salesman. tiny salesman. Yeah. And you slap people. Right. And yeah, you kind of like you're sort of playing like a, it's almost like a storybook or like a cartoon. Oh my gosh! Don't fall down. <laughs> it was totally aided on this escalator. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I, I really liked it a lot, and. Um, yeah, it seems like it's a, it's a funny storyline, so. Right, right, Definitely right, right. wanting to keep going when that game comes out. Oh, now look, we have a giant, we have a huge giant Pikachu emerging. 
to get off Whoa. the escalator here. See, this, this building's nice. Look at this nice. I know. They have like a lot of cool like architecture in here. All right, don't fall. Go go run and like tackle the giant Pikachu. Oh, no. Please. Need a scale. We got a Krista for scale. It's very yes. big. Very big. So, again, we have doomed ourselves with the schedule. So now we are running back to the these, other building. like three blocks to the other building for something else, which we're going to be terribly late for. So we're just offending everyone yes. at every opportunity where we go. It's going great, guys. Right. Things are going great. Packs. It's the hottest brand activation of packs. Cheez Its. Uh, we got Cheez Its, Cheez Its, and also Cheez Its. All right, we just All checked right. out what was the one and only PAX Hall before this year, and it's packed. Um, so many things in there. Kind of hard to like make sense of everything in there. It's about the same size as the other building. We yeah. did see one thing, which was Smack Studio, which we went to go see that because it's being one of the people who's working on it is a Patreon subscriber of yeah. ours. And he said, Hey, invited us to come check it out. So this is kind of like one part smash style fighting game, but you actually cr can create your, own, your character. own characters. And you tried out that tool it is the and most you were pretty like blown away by that. Thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, there's basically, an, put that on the box. <laughs> basically you, you have this full like character creation, sprite creation tool that you can use to make your own characters. You can like edit existing templates. You can put in basically anything you want. I can't wait to make a Kitten Krista character because that's going to be awesome. And then immediately you can just like take it on a USB and put it in the game. It's incredible. So I'm now, so guess what? We're going back to the other building because the thing that I want to see most, not only at this show, in the entire world right now, is this Nintendo Power, Art of Nintendo Power yes. exhibit. There's a, they have an exhibit. Museum and exhibit, I've heard the line is out the door, so I'm a little bit worried. If I don't see this, I'm blaming you, and I'm going to go cry in a corner. Why I need to see fault? this. I, it just is. I need, this, I need this to happen for me.
All right, things are picking up here. It feels good to sit down after the walking, the back and forth all morning. I'll never forgive them for this. Yes. Uh, well, I had my highlight of the show, yeah. or maybe my life. We saw the Her art life? of Nintendo Power exhibit. It's um, amazing. You seem to care a little bit less than I did, which I took some. No. So here's what happened. There's a long line to get in. You're like, I need to go to the bathroom. And yes. then, it, it, then it was like, I was the next to go in and you were nowhere to be seen. I went to the bathroom and came back right away. It no, was so fast. I had to then... tell them. I had to explain to the lady. I was like, I need I need to wait. Can I just stand here for my friend? Sorry, sorry. Sorry. So. I had to pee. I'm sorry. But this was glorious. It was like dozens and dozens and dozens of pieces of mm-hmm. original Nintendo Power artwork. This yeah. guy, Stefan, has just been collecting it. Like it started it. out as a private collection, I think. Right. Said, and now it's a, it's, it's, just... a, it's a full-on non-profit collection now. Yeah. And, it's really incredible. Um, I got a chance to talk to him. I mostly just thanked him for doing this because it's incredible work. And I have no idea like how he gets this stuff. Mm-hmm. So we kind of put a bug in his ear of maybe coming on our podcast and, and talk about this. Yes. Hopefully we can make that happen. That would be but great. I'm not going to lie. Like I got a little emotional looking at some of the pieces. So one of the pieces they had was of um, a preview of Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, which is four months. I stared at this two pages of artwork yeah. as I imagined what this game could be. And there it was the original artwork of it just like staring me in the face. Your childhood flashed before your eyes. Yeah, he actually mentioned like a lot of people had similar reactions to that where, and it was like totally beyond like their experience with the game, like the NES version of the Turtles arcade game, like I actually don't super love that version, but like other people had just like super tight associations with something in their childhood Yeah, uh, that was just like like, triggered in that moment. That's the only medium you had back in those days. Yeah. To really understand what a game could potentially be. You didn't have, like, millions of hours of, like, let's play videos on the internet. Yeah. You know? So it's, like, it's such an interesting thing, you know, about that specific era that we yeah. grew up in. And it and, was such yeah. an extension of your Nintendo experience. And, and, again, like, this magazine, like, you don't realize, like, how much original art went into that. And right. to see it, like... Displayed in the flash too. amazing um yeah. he also he has a big addition which is the like the original mario costume character yeah i think it looks cool the, like, the, his yeah. restoration is really good the restoration is yeah. really well he said he, the eyes were missing he, right? he explained yeah. it as kind of like a taxidermy job where Oof. it's like it's not fit to be worn anymore it's like yeah, stuff yes stuff it yeah. right um so that was incredible really really cool after that our panel is in the same Building. building so right. it was like well we're, we're close by let's go see it so we did and I panicked. you had I'm still panicking you had a, a moment right of fear now. i didn't look so what what did you see it just looks huge it's big and the problem is what no one's gonna come and why would you empty. say that I'm scared. we ran into the the good people from giant bomb who are doing the panel right before us and they gave you a bit of a pep talk they did give me a pep talk they which was helpful they they're said, so sweet they said they're gonna tell everybody in their talk to just stick around for us because you're scared scared. they're not gonna do that they're not gonna do it (laughs) they're gonna leave they got stuff to do they got places to go really it's gonna be fine so that's where we are we're at we're here on this this nice rooftop garden by the way building this new convention center is so beautiful seriously next year can they just do it all here it's big enough right why do why do they have to be two of the things right let's let's just let's just phase out these old buildings that's my big advice yeah i mean this is just an amazing space so next we have our big meet and greet with captain alex yes it's like barely 2 30 and we've just been going non-stop yeah so grab something no break for us a little break. Small break. I need to eat. And then we keep going. Yes. So it's uh, 6.02. Our panel starts at 6.30. I am panicking. Uh, Giant Bomb had the room before us. Of course, they're running late. Thanks a lot, jerks. Oh, it's so, not very nice. Sorry. But uh, you you are in some degree of distress I'm right in, now. I'm in like a full-on... I'm about to have a panic attack. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How many years have we done this? I don't know. It doesn't get easier, done, guys. Like five faxes we've done a panel. So what's the deal? Explain it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just get nervous. (laughs) That's so 
thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, it is live. Welcome to the Kate and Krista Podcast Live. The next day. All right, it is the last day of Pass for Us. Yeah. We are in line. We've been in line. We have been for about an hour. In line to get in. I don't know. There was something weird going on where it just like wasn't moving. Yeah. While they were doing the Zelda concert, and now it seems to be doing a little bit better. But yeah, we've been in this line for about an hour. We have a couple hours till we need to get off to the airport. So we're hoping we can get in, see some stuff, play some Mario Wonder. Will we do it? I don't know. The drama is building. Your anger is rising. I'm feeling hope, strangely calm about it. Dying. I don't know. Your hope is dying. Hope is dying. Uh, well, that's a good cliffhanger. We're going <laughs> to see you again when we're on the inside. So we just put out uh, a tweet expressing some concern about the line situation. Yes. We have seen members. Oh, there's one right there of the Nintendo events team who we know. Yes. Um, yes. There seems to be some concern there's, there's among the staff there's about kerfuffle. the situation with the line. Is it because of our tweet? Maybe. Who can say? But yes. Okay. All right. We have made it to the third, fourth line. We hit a checkpoint. Yes, okay. we're, we're now this in what the, seems to be the final the line. The final line, okay. But we did pick we up did pick the up bag. The Please show it bag. off. So it has the Nintendo Live logo on the front. Yeah. We got bracelets. Uh, they, did, they very specifically told me that if we left the line, if we, if we left <laughs> this place, we have to go we have to back get, in line again. Get back in the line. Awesome. So Perfect. If Great. If need to, again, eat lunch or, or do anything, use the bathroom, I don't know. There's there we no, go. The, the, Confirmed by this young the man. The line is getting a little surly. The line of people are surly. Yes. So you got, you got a Mario hat. Very exciting. Very big. This is what we came for, honestly. Nintendo I mean, Live coin. No, wait, what is, what is this here? So we have Mario with... Oh, and it's all the different... Oh, we got like Pikmin Smash. We got Mario, Zelda, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and Splatoon. This Great. Is yeah. This is very cool. Very cool. Look at that. Okay. Pins. We got some pins. Those are nice. Very nice. Very high quality. Oh, okay. I thought there was a Nintendo Live pin. That's so far. No, in the that's. But oh, this is really cute. That's this nice. is super cute. Yeah. We got some. Oh, the activity book. What is that? Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, well, this, is, this is how you pass three hours in line, you see. Well, the line is basically this. <laughs> this, a is the this is the line. The maze adventure, which was not fun at all. So that is good. Uh, this is also the line. Yeah, right this is the line. Um, good, what good, else? Good. Universal, where you can stand in more lines. Nothing passes time like a pamphlet. What else? Uh, that's it. And then the bag itself. The bag. Yeah. After two, two hours, two and a half, two hours. Well, coming on two and a half hours. Yeah, we're here. We have made it in. Uh, this is the line for merch, which we will not be getting into. No, thank you. Not another line. I think this is the main entrance, so... Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. So if you even wanted to get into the merch line, you couldn't, because it's already been closed, despite the fact that you've been in line for two and a half hours. Yeah. Aha, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> All right, right away. We got a link. This looks like some sort of a stage for some, maybe a tournament later on. I don't know. Can play Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. I, I would love to wait in the line to play a game I played for 200 hours. Yeah. Oh, Ochi. Ochi even has a little fluffy tail. Do you see that? That's so cute. That's very cute. So this is the Animal Crossing thing that they had at...
Kind of a whirlwind once we got out of the line because like we have to play Super Mario Wonder, so we basically beeline to that. Yes, and that had a line which freaked you out. Yeah, but our like, line it's, was, not, it's not going to work out. It's I not worth like, it. We're not really, going to make it. Really nervous because that that line I wasn't sure how long it was. That ended up being just fine. But they had they had a lot of stations. They yeah. probably had like <laughs> fifty stations, and they did four people. It was four people per, per station. station, so we got so matched up fine. with two randos, which was fine. Yeah, but we did get to play the game. Yes. Which is the most important thing. Uh, game was great. Happy yeah. to just report back and say I got to be an so elephant fun. Mario. I went to an elephant P- uh, Toadette. Right, which right. Is very exciting. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I don't love playing games at shows because it's hard to, to get a feel, especially in a multiplayer yeah, game like exactly. that. exactly. It's a little frenetic. One of the other sure. players was really rushing us through those levels. Yeah. But you did get to see a lot that you, you could tell right away. Like, this is different. This feels different. Um, one of the big things that we noticed was, unlike the new Super Mario Brothers, like you don't physically interact. Right, you with can't the other like players. each other. Um, you just kind of go straight through them. Right, right, right. Which we we liked the the mechanic of being able to pick somebody up and I carry like them or throw yeah. them into a pit. But the jumping sometimes did get because you would like jump blah, blah, and you would bounce but off it, of somebody else. It was fun else. to be able to like um, get to hard to reach places. You can do you you give know, somebody a boost. Your, with right. Your, um, your friend or whatever it's right. like that that wasn't in, in this one which is it's just fine um we did get to do several stages where you go into like the wonder flower yeah it's a little bit hard to because it definitely felt like it was being rushed through a little bit but it was a little bit hard to tell like what exactly was happening because there's just a lot of things happening you know on the screen right um but it was it was really really fun and uh it just feels super i mean like there's just so much to discover in this game and yeah, I think we both really, really liked it. Yeah, the game looks super nice too. Yeah, like it's so, so colorful. Colorful. Yeah. It's like, wow, this is this is um, they've taken kind of the Mario aesthetic and given it a, kind of a, a few tweaks, but mm-hmm. never looked better. Never yeah, looked better, everything, all the expressiveness that we were yeah like seeing in the trailers, like oh my gosh, watch doing having that play out while you're playing the game is really, really nice. Yeah, yeah, really totally. Cool. So yes, yeah, so we got to play it. It was awesome. Can't wait to. Play it tomorrow when it comes out. But uh, yeah, we really enjoyed that. And then we did a really quick lap around the rest of Nintendo Live because yeah. at that point we were a little worried about getting out, our flight. Get out of this yeah. airport to uh, make our flight. But we got to see, they do have a lot there. Mm-hmm. Um, we got to catch the tail end of the Mario Big Band. Yeah. Which sounded great. That's cool. I, I like how I was a little worried because we didn't get a warp pass for that. And we were like, oh no, does that mean we don't get to hear it at all? But it was cool that it was just like out in the open. Yeah, that everybody, was just for seating. They could have done a yeah. better job of explaining that. Right, and everybody could just, you can still stand around and listen and, and, and see what was happening on stage. So that was totally fine. You, you actually did not really need that Warp Pass thing. Right, right, totally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's so many photo ops. Um, those were very cool. A lot of those we had seen before, so we didn't right. have to you know, spend too much time on A lot on of those. long lines for photo ops, but yeah, exactly. We had seen, basically, these were all, all old photo ops, so they just pulled out and built little vignettes around. Um, so it wasn't anything, like, brand new. Um, but they looked great still, and it was nice to see them all on display and, and stuff. And, yeah, it looked like people were having fun getting photos and stuff. 
Yeah, so I mean, you know, as far as answering the question of like, did they recreate the Nintendo Live experience that we had in Japan that when we went back in 2019? I'd say so. I think they did. Um, you know, I wonder if they do this in the future. Do they match up with PAX again? We were joking, like, PAX might be over them. Yeah. Because uh, they could, like they could have a, a lot, lot of, you know, requests about how, to, how things get done. Right. But I think it's a good first first step for them. Yeah. Um, the people there seem to be having a great time. You know, mm-hmm. we had a good time for the, people, the time that we were there. So, now we're at the airport. It's a great weekend's coming to an end. I'm going I'm to go out on a limb and say this is the best PAX that I can remember. Yeah. I, I don't even know. I've, 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 we've done so many of these. I've lost track. But this was this is definitely the top, best one. top tier yeah. PAX for us. Yeah, we, we really had a great time. Just, That's um, it. Well, we did so much. We did. Is the main thing. Uh, saw so many people. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people we've not seen in many years. Yeah. Some from Nintendo, some from other places. Right, right. The panel went great despite panel, your freak out. The panel was probably the best panel we've ever done, I think. Right. We had such an amazing turnout. Thank you for to anyone that, that came that's watching this. Like, thank you so much for coming to that panel and hanging out with us for an hour. That was so much fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say this is like probably one of the best ones yeah. ever. So now we're both extremely tired, about to get on. Maybe that's our airplane right there. I know. So we'll see you when we see you. Yes. We'll have our podcast with more thoughts coming out real soon. Mm -hmm. But we're going to sign off. Bye. Bye.